I have my own problems. Tell me about your problems, Johnny. Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Look, I'm just your friend, and I'm just worried about you. See, you wanted to play psychologist, and then you're like, whenever he does try, you, you're like, why do you always do this? Lisa is teasing me about whether we are going to get married or not. And we didn't make love in a while. And I don't know what to do. You never really know. Look, you should tell her about your feelings, okay? You shouldn't hide them. You two have been together forever. You can work out anything as long as you talk about it. That's, that's another tip I have. Relationship advice. Be yourself the entire time. Because if you trap somebody with a fake persona, then then whenever you finally like let it out because you're like oh they love me it'll be fine now whenever you finally let it out they're gonna see that for one you lied about who you are and they're they might not like that person as much as the fake one that you put on and same thing for them you might not like the fake you might like the fake person that they put on more than the the one that they weren't showing you and it's just a waste of time. For the for the main crux of it, it's a waste of everyone's time. Be yourself. Don't put on airs. Unless you're just trying to use them for something. Then I guess go ahead and like, put on your fake persona so that you can get that one night stand. You can work out anything as long as you talk about it. See, he understands. Not always. Yeah, sometimes it leads to fist fights. People are people. Sometimes they just can't see their own faults. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving to a bigger place. That's so random. I'm making some good money. Is he just trying to... And he freaking... He freaking... They, they just continue the conversation. Like, that line is in there for no reason. You're right, Peter. <laughs> is she getting a divorce, Mark? You guys are too much. Hey, are you running beta to breakers this year? What is beta breakers? I am, sure. Nah, I'm not doing that this year. Haha. <laughs> chicken, Peter. It's just a little chicken. Chip, 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 chip. <laughs> What are you calling chicken? I just don't like all the weirdos. There's too many weirdos there. Uh, 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 I don't mind. Mark, do you remember the one with the big tits? The blondie one? No. How about the one with the bridal gown with the sign? Oh, yeah. Can you marry me? <laughs> I thought I would take her up on it. <laughs> I never ate so much. Yeah, the barbecue chicken was delicious rice. That was cool. You guys proved my point. You're both weird. You guys want to play cards? No, we can't. I expect Lisa any minute. Hey, come on, man. Who's the king of the house? Yeah, you guys got to see what she's like before you get married. They've been together for five, seven years, right? Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, that's a very interesting story. When I moved to San Francisco with two suitcases and I didn't know anyone, I hit the YMCA here with a $2,000 check which I couldn't cash. Why not? <laughs> it's deteriorating so bad. Well, because it was an out-of-state bank. Anyway, I was working as a busboy in a hotel and she was sitting drinking a coffee. She was so beautiful. And I said hi to her. <laughs> I said hi to her and that's how we met. So what's the interesting part? Well, the interesting part is that on our first date, she paid for dinner. What? No tips from your job? Whatever. Do you guys want to eat something? make sandwiches 
Oh, there's light over here. I'll make a sandwich. Sure, why not? Spoon! I need to make sandwiches for Mark and Peter. Spoon! I'm gonna look around first. Uh... Is an empty plate. Oh. Oh, I actually have to make sand. What's it? What is that, a rat? <laughs> cool, I have a. Uh, what is that? Cheese and meat? Uh, take that bread. I should only put down a slice of bread, not the whole loaf. Oh, it's. Oh, it's not sliced. All right. Now, uh, let's put the meat. Wait. No, wait. Oh, okay. I get it. I figured it out. Bam. I figured it out. Dun, dun, dun. Da, 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 da. Make a special sandwich for Mark. I'm not a mouse surgeon. Make a special sandwich for Mark. Da, 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 A banana and mouse sandwich. And you know what? I hate tomatoes. Let's give him some tomatoes. Yeah! And... I like cheese on sandwiches every now and then. I like melted cheese most. But I can handle cheese on... that's not melted if it's on a sandwich. You know what? Put those mic. Oh, I can't put the bananas in the microwave. What is that? That's too much stuff. I should top this off with a slice of bread. Okay. Well. I hope this one's for Mark. There's a sandwich for Mark. Now I'll make one for Peter. Yeah, it was for Mark. Okay. Now. What? You're always playing psychologist with us. Take that. Why must you always play psychologist? You know what? I, as I said, I don't like tomatoes. There you go. There's your tomatoes. And... Hmm. What le- I got one more. What should I put? Lettuce is too good. Cheese? I don't know why, but I think meat and a sponge together would be- be gross. So, yeah. Yeah! There's my sandwiches for the boys! I can go tell Mark and Peter their sandwiches already. Oh wait, and I got all spoons! Where did Peter and Mark go? They had to run. Denny says hi. But I just made them a snack. Apparently they weren't that hungry. By the way, I stopped by the dress shop to check in. Your tux will be ready tomorrow. Oh, great. I am excited to try it on. Good for you, Johnny. Let's go to bed. You are such a bitch. For no reason, too. Like, he set you up in this nice apartment. And you're constantly like, Give me this dress. Give me this. Give me that. And he gets it for you. He brings you flowers. Look, they're right here. I think there they are. Right there. Bought you a dress that you wanted. He probably buys you anything that you you want. Come to bed, Johnny. And you just keep freaking. That is the. <laughs> that is. The... 
That's the epitome of looking a gift horse in the mouth. Time to pick up my tux. Do I need a shower? I don't need a shower. I like watching the animation, but at the same time, I'm a little... I'm impatient. Oh, crap! I forgot! I haven't been reading Denny's diary. Ah, oh, man. I probably missed some. Ah! Oh, God dang it! Sunday, April 20th, 2003. I hung out with the guys and tossed a football around in the alley. Mike was telling us some weird story about his underwears. Me underwears. I was like, I don't study like that. What does that mean? Then Mark came in and sort of accidentally knocked Mike over. It was weird. Seemed intentional. Whatever. I hung out with Lisa later, but she still won't kiss me. I went home with her, but Johnny was in the kitchen, so I gave up and left. It's so weird. He's so weird. I had to throw uh, an empty water bottle at at Odin because he, he's like across the room from me right now. He was originally in my lap during the, the whole thing so far, but uh, he got down and he started biting himself and he'll like bite himself bloody if I don't stop him. So I throw empty really light water bottles at him. And that's a, that's a good reason to keep your water bottles. Other than reusing them. Like, I reuse them as basically glasses. Because I hate doing dishes. Great news, your text is ready. Awesome. I'm gonna put that on. This tux fits great. Great, Johnny. And thanks for undressing in front of me. You're welcome. I know you loved it. Time to go home. I don't. I got all the spoons, so I don't have to worry about that. Hi, Johnny. I saw you on the street and wanted to say that tux looks great. Oh, hi, Susan. Thanks. You look better than a slice of cheesecake. Oh, thank you. You do like cheesecake, right? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Oh, hi, Danny. Nice tux. You look great. You look really handsome. <laughs> Your wedding picture is gonna look great. Aw, oh, thanks. Hey, Peter. Come on in. Oh, hi, Peter. You look really good, too. Sit down. Why is everybody in tuxes? Oh! Whoa! Wow! So beautiful. Hey guys. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. You look great. You look like a baby face. You guys want to play some football? Was that like in the script that he shaves though? In tuxes? Nah, you gotta be kidding. Come on, Mark. Let's do it. I'm up for it. Johnny? Ask Peter. Come on, Peter. No, I don't think so. Please. Nope. Come on. Cheep, 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 cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. <laughs> Everybody cheeps at him. Okay, fine, let's go. Let's play in front of the electronics store. What? Why? It's such it's so weird that they're in tuxes in the first place. Why did they need to get why did they need to be put in tuxes? They're just standing in tuxes for no reason. Catch, Johnny! Oh, oh, oh. Ah. oh it's so stressful for some reason. God dang it! Alright, Peter. Here we go, Mark. Come on, come on, everybody, come on. I just got my new tux. Let's stink it up. 
Go deep. Oh! <laughs> oh, gee, Peter, you're so clumsy. All right, that's it. I'm done. Great idea, Denny. Like, yeah, you see, stinking up the tux. I just got that tux. Now I gotta get it cleaned. Cause you can't just stick a tux in the washing machine, can you? Can you? Feeling a little lightheaded, guys. I'm gonna go home and lay down. All right, Peter. Enjoy your nap. Cheep, 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 cheep.